My mother called her brother Joe the dreamer, the one who realized education was the key to everything. But alas, his schooling had to end at eighth grade. He needed to work to help support a family where responsible breadwinners were a bit scarce. He envied his age mates who were in high school. Some days uh, he would drive to the local high school when time permitted, and he would sit in his car and watch them, wishing that he was among their number. Then he would return to his responsibilities at home. He never married. He had no children. And oh, by the way, that little cutie on the end is my mother. She idolized her brother Joe. She knew that he was special. Joe Hodek, my hero uncle, would make this woman, my grandmother Anna, a gold star mother. She was a woman before her time, buying, selling, and running a series of taverns and restaurants to support her large brood, since her husband was an unreliable provider. Of solid Czech stock, she was the rock of the family. Did Joe see that the military might be his salvation, a way ahead in life? He enlisted in the Naval Reserves in November 1941, just weeks before Pearl Harbor. He was 33 years old. He took basic training at Great Lakes in Chicago and served aboard the USS Idaho before his fateful assignment to the USS Eversole a newly built destroyer escort built by the Brown Shipbuilding Yards in Houston. He would board the Eversole at her commissioning in March 1944. He confided a wartime soldier's fears to his mother, a premonition that he would never see Iowa and her again. The Eversole then sailed into the South Pacific, faithfully performing her duties. In October 1944, 80 years ago now, she was torpedoed by a Japanese submarine off the coast of the Philippine Islands during the Battle of Lady Gulf. All hands abandoned ship. Joe was on duty in the boiler room at the time. Although scalded by live steam from broken steam pipes, he helped fellow shipmates to safety thus sacrificing his life in the process. He would die the following day aboard a rescue ship and was buried at sea. The uncle I never knew has haunted me since.
hear no mothers cry, nor children weep. We will stand and guard, though the angels sleep.